As you can see here, I'm calling an actual number. Thank you for calling Aura Med Spa. This is Ava. One moment while I pull up your details. Okay, thanks for your patience. How may I help you today? Um, yeah, I would just like to book in for uh, an appointment. Uh, do you have anything on Monday? Monday, November 3rd, we have an opening at 8am. Would that work for you? Yeah, please. Perfect. To set up your file, could I get your full name, please? It is James Smith. Th Thank you, James Smith. And may I have your email address to send a confirmation and our new patient forms? Cuba March 2007 at gmail.com. So as you can see, it booked the appointment. It says the treatment, has it had it before, the name, captured all the right information. I built this AI agent that never misses a call and I'm gonna build it in under 30 minutes. No prior code and experience is required. So why is this so important? Missed calls means lost revenue and every unanswered call is a potential lost client. So that means the goal is to answer the call instantly. And that's what we're gonna do with this AI. There's three steps to this no-code solution. First, we're gonna set up the AI voice. Second, we're gonna set up the back end that books in the appointment and checks the availability. And third, we're gonna to need to buy a phone number to connect it with. You can either give this new phone number directly to the clients, or you can set up call forwarding to forward to an existing number. If you're serious about making AI receptionists, make sure to check out my school that has support, has blueprints for all the builds, and loads of tutorials on other things like how to build your website. So let's get started with the tutorial. First, you wanna head over to vapi.ai and make a new account. Then from here, you wanna head over to the assistance tab since we're gonna create a new assistant, and we're gonna create a new assistant with a blank template. And this is gonna be for a med spa, so we're just gonna put med spa. The first thing you're gonna to need to set up is the AI model slash provider. And there's few factors that depend on what makes it good, the latency and the price. And right now, for me, the best one between latency and price is probably 4.1. The next step is gonna be the assistant speaking first. We're actually gonna use assistant speaks first with model generated message because we message because we mention it in the system prompt. And what the system prompt is, is just it's just the context and the role and the personality and you're telling it when to do certain things like when to check availability and when to book the appointment. If you're in the school community, you'll get access to the entire system prompt. So that's what I'm just going to do now. And now if we just click talk to the assistant, it should say. Thank you for calling Aura Med Spa. This is Ava. One moment while I pull up your details. So hopefully that just come through, but it said, thank you for calling Aura Med Spa. One moment while I pull up your details. But we need to sort out the back end so that the tools actually work and we need to fix the voice so it's a woman. So first, if you just go up here and go to voice and select 11 labs, and then I like to use Lucy. Um, that's just what I find best for me. And then for additional configurations, I uh, set the background sound to office and I then just go to more stable more similar and then I just turn on speaker boost and then I just want to publish that for now. If you need to test your agent but you don't want to constantly be on the phone to it you can also use the chat as well and that works just the same but you're just not calling off a you're not speaking to it or calling off a number. Okay from here we're going to go to step two the back end of the whole automation now what I use is a platform called NAN and what it can do is it can book in appointments, it connects with certain integrations like Google, Twilio for your phone number to send messages, all those kind of things. It's just a no code platform that does things that you'd normally have to code in the past. In NAN, you just go to nan.io, log in and we're going to go to new, create a new workflow and you can just call it like med spa demo then if you're in the school in the description you can just download the uh, file and you're just going to import it and then you're just going to click save now from here you're going to have some red x's this is because you haven't set up the credentials if you're watching this video in the school, you probably have already set up the credentials. 
But just in case you haven't, you're going to need to go into, let's say, Google Calendar, for example, connect the credential, create new credential, and just sign in with Google. And then you're going to have to click on all of them, and you won't need to sign into the credential. You just have to click on all of them and make sure the calendar is set to your email. It will probably say mine. Make sure it's set to your email, so you're going to have to click on all of these. For Twilio, uh, we'll go over that at the end of the video when I go over how to get your phone number. And for the Google Sheet, what you're going to need to do, just want to head over to Google Sheet. You just want to create a blank spreadsheet and you're going to add two rows, really simple, name and phone number. And we're just going to call this Med Spa Simple CRM. Then we're going to make sure that's saved. Just come back into here. I'm going to duplicate this just because it's probably going to remove the information. And we're going to change it to MedSpa Simple CRM. Select the sheet. Map. <gasps> Manually, we're going to go to expression and we're just going to go back into this and just copy the expression into the name. Oh, I think I've done that the wrong way. Into the phone number and then the one for the name. Then we're just going to delete this old one and we're going to do the same for this one here. We're going to copy that. We're then going to set it from there to MedSpa Simple, Sheet 1, add the filter. This is the one that where they're going to call, it's going to check their number that they're calling off against the CRM to see if they've called before and if they're a returning customer. So we're going to match it on the phone number and the value will be the expression that we just got. And then, yeah, we're just going to save that. That should be all the credentials for now. Obviously, there's these ones. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Gmail's the, pretty much the exact same. Um, so, yeah. Oh, wait. Now, from here, we're going to have to set up the tools in Twilio so that it actually sends the information from here from the AI assistant. So we're going to go over two tools and you're going to get the tools out of the description in the school. I'm going to create a few new tools. All of the tools will be in the school description. The first one we're going to start off with is check availability. And we're going to need to name it exactly how I put that there. Because if I go back to the NIN workflow, how it works is it's going to check the tool name and compare it to all of the possible options. So if it's not spelled exactly like how it is here in VAPI, then it won't match it to it and it won't pass through. And when you look at the executions, it will just be stuck at this blue section here. So if we just want to put the description as MedSpa, we're going to come down, select the parameters, put it in there, and then we're going to click Apply and Save. Now the second one we're going to make is called Book Appointment. And then we're just going to put in the parameter and then we're going to click save. Now there's a few other ones we need. We need the lookup client by phone tool, which we're going to make now. This is the one that looks up the client by their phone number and sees if they're a new or returning customer. Just going to click apply, save. We're also going to need a get date. This just gets today's date and uh, make sure the AI knows exactly what today's day is because it likes to make up information. <laughs> then we're going to need reschedule and cancel the appointment. So I'm just going to start off with. Then the last tool we are going to need is it's going to be an end call tool. And this just gives the AI the ability to actually end the call. Now, for all of these tools currently, they're not connected. They're not, even, they're not connected to the back end, which is NAN, and they're not connected to the assistant. So they're not connected to the voice and they're not connected to the brain. So first, what we're going to do is connect them to the voice. So we're going to go over to our agent, 
go to the tool section and we're going to select every single tool we just connected and and yeah you need to create a new you need to create new tools for every assistant that you make so you're just going to click that we're going to publish it so it's saved and then now we're going to connect it to the ai itself so we're going to make this workflow active and what we're going to do is we're going to connect get the production url we're going to make sure it's the production url We're going to make sure it's the production URL and we're going to take this info here. This is a password. So let's just say I delete that um, and we go, we add a response header and we just name it med spa and we create the password as one, two, three, four. What that means is, is it makes it more secure and no one can listen in. So how we're going to connect it now is we're going to take this production URL. We're going to make sure it's not here. It's on the production part so that it's always listening for events. And we're going to go over to all of our tools, come down to where it says server URL, and we're going to paste it in there and save. Do that for every single tool. From here, we need to add the password to all of them as well. So we're going to come down to HTTP headers and we're going to add the header so it's med spa one two three four we're gonna save med spa one two three four okay then and now that we've got that done it should it should everything should be working apart from the phone number so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Twilio this is where we buy the phone number and bear in mind, you don't need the phone number to show the client a demo. One other important thing before I go on to this um, for GDPR compliance, you want to turn off audio recording, login and transcript. And we're just going to publish that. And then from here, we're going over to Twilio. You're going to uh, make, make an account or login. You're then going to need to create a compliance bundle. But I've already done that, so I'm just going to buy a number or use one of my already active ones. So after you, when you go to buy a number, I'm in the UK, so I'm just going to search plus four four. Go to UK, and I'm just going to deselect fax and search, so it's a mobile number, and I'll just buy one of these. And then from there, after you've after you've got a number, you're going to need to get these two, these pieces of information account SID and auth token. So you're going to copy both of these, come back into NAN, and this is what you're going to use to create a credential to connect your phone number. And where you're going to put the phone number that you bought is in here so that it sends the automatic SMS after. And then you're going to put your phone number here for testing. Um, that's just so it sends it to you. Now to connect it to a phone number, it's the same, it's the same inside of Twilio. I mean, it's the same inside of Vapi. You're just going to need to um, import from Twilio, put the number, the SID. And then once you've made it, you want to make sure you come down and select the assistant that you just made. Um, so it's connected to that. So as you can see here, I'm going to, I'm going to show that it's capable of seeing that that day is blocked and the available time slots for the other day. Thank you for calling Aura Med Spa. This is Ava. One moment while I pull up your details. Okay, thanks for your patience. How may I help you today? Um, yeah, I would just like to book in for uh, an appointment. I'd be happy to help you schedule your first visit with us. To ensure we book you with the right specialist, what treatment are you interested in today? For example, are you looking for Botox, a facial or laser treatment? Uh, yeah, Botox. Okay, thank you. And just so our specialist is prepared, have you ever had this procedure before? No, I haven't. Great, thank you for that information. Let's find a time for you to come in. Of course. What day would work best for you to come in? Uh, probably next Tuesday, the 4th. Great, one moment please. Let me check our schedule for that day. I have a few times available that day. We have 8am, 10am, 12pm. Would any of those work for you? 
Uh, do you have anything on Monday? Monday, November 3rd, we have an opening at 8am. Would that work for you? Yeah, please. Perfect. To set up your file, could I get your full name, please? It is James Smith. Th Thank you, James Smith. And may I have your email address to send a confirmation and our new patient form? Cuba March 2007 at gmail.com. Thank you. Just to confirm, I have you down for your appointment for Botox on Monday, November 3rd at 8 a.m. Is that all correct? Yeah. So as you can see, it booked the appointment. It says the treatment. Has it had it before? The name captured all the right information. And the latency, it's around where you can find Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you're a business that wants something like this set up, my website is in the bio and you can book a meeting with me through there. Thanks for watching. If you want more tutorials in the future, 